Good morning, I'm Riley and today is Friday, April 9th. Penn Highlands is hosting an open house for athletics and esports on April 11th from 1 to 3. If you are interested, please contact Mrs. Spengler for details. Are you currently looking for a job? If you are, our Butis Park Retirement Community and Eaton Park are currently seeking individuals to fill a variety of positions in their organizations. Please see Mrs. Spengler for more information. Attention students that plan to attend prom. When signing up for prom this year, we will be promoting the prom promise. This is a promise of responsibility on prom night. We want you to have a fun and safe night. The pledge reads, I commit to avoiding destructive decisions and behaviors, including the use of drugs and alcohol, and to making responsible choices for the health and well-being of myself and others. Please sign and bring your pledge card to the prom and drop it in the prize box on prom night. In exchange for showing responsibility, the SAD Club will be giving away a 32-inch Roku Smart TV. It's simple. Sign the pledge card, drop it in the box on prom night, and you could walk away as a responsible, safe winner. Prom tickets will be sold every day beginning this Monday, April 12th, during 5th period lunch and in the mornings from 7.20 to 7.55 in Mr. Culp's room. Votex students can purchase tickets during their lunch periods as well. Prom will be held on Friday, May 14th at the Winberec Ballroom. The PBIS team will be having our next incentive on Wednesday, April 14th. We will be having a PBIS pentathlon where students will sign up in teams of no more than five people. You will rotate throughout the school that day competing in obstacle courses, yard games, puzzles, trivia, and karaoke. So you will want to have a, have a well-rounded team. There will be a cookout for lunch that day and students will be able to make a s'more for a cost of one Rambler buck. Pay attention to the announcements this week for more information on how to sign up. Today for lunch we are having freshly baked Italian dunkers, steamed peas, broccoli florets, and oranges. That's all for now. Thanks and have a great day. Good morning. The PBIS Pentathlon will consist of five events, including an obstacle course, sidewalk chalk, puzzles and trivia, yard games, and karaoke. Students can sign up in teams of up to five members. Middle school teams must be made up of students from the same grade level. High school teams must be made up of students from grades 9 or 10, or teams from grades 11 or 12, and GJCTC students will have to sign up in teams made up of GJs. CTC students. This must be done so that we can follow the lunch schedule and allow the GGA CTC to report on time. The cost to participate will be 10 Rambler bucks combined per team. Signups will be this Friday the 9th and Monday April 12th. Middle school students will sign up with their social studies teacher. High school students will sign up during lunch on those dates. The obstacle course will be scored on how fast or how many times your team can complete the course. The sidewalk chalk competition will be an animal slash zoo, zoo theme and will, score, will be scored by judges. The puzzle slash trivia section will be scored on how many puzzles and how many tri trivia questions are completed correctly. The yard games will be scored by points accumulated from, from dis different distances in a certain time period. The karaoke competition will require at least one team member to sing and the remaining members to dance. The karaoke competition will be streamed live to students throughout the building. All songs for the karaoke contest and drawings for the sidewalk chalk competition must be school appropriate. Participating students must report to their events and remain there for the scheduled time. Students that are not participating will follow their normal class schedule. Please see Mr. Blanchetti or Mrs. Blackburn if you have any questions. Thank you. Good morning, Natalie here with your daily weather report. Today will be partly cloudy with some sun throughout the day. There will be a high of 60 degrees and a low of 52. That's all for now. Thanks and have a great day. something to watch this weekend? My movie night suggestion for this week is Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon 2021. Long ago, in the fantasy world of Kamandra, humans and dragons lived together in harmony. 
But when sinister monsters known as the Drun threatened the land, the dragons sacrificed themselves to save humanity. Now, 500 years later, those same monsters have returned, and it's up to a lone warrior, Raya, to track down the last dragon in order to finally stop the Drun for good. However, along her journey, she'll learn that it'll take more than dragon magic to save the world. It's going to take trust as well. If you haven't seen this film, look it up using YouTube or Disney Plus. I give this movie 4 out of 5. A quick announcement from the Wimber PBIS team. The PBIS team will be selling items for Realms of Bucks every other Friday starting April 9th. If you don't have enough Realms of Bucks, there will also be alternative prices with real money. The following items are just some of the few things that you can buy in the store. Candy such as fruit roll-ups, gummies, Rice Krispie treats, lifesavers, Wimber writing utensils, Wimber masks including masks for seniors, Wimber decals, Wimber water bottles, a Wimber football, Wimber sunglasses, and socks. Either Wimber socks or you can choose a teacher and buy their face on it. As a reminder, in order to receive from the bucks to shop at the student store, you will need to be respectful, accountable, motivated, and safe. An example of being respectful is helping a student pick up things that they dropped. Being accountable could mean getting assignments turned in on time. Being motivated to learn would all include participating in class discussions. Finally, to be safe, especially in the time of COVID, you could wear your mask properly. These are all just examples of ways to earn Rambler bucks. But there are many things you could do. Be sure to stop at the student store and buy some swaggy items. He's a phantom. Hi, I'm here with Joe's singular question of the week this time with one person too. And we are here with Brady Russo. It's a big boy. No, big boy. What is your favorite season? Favorite season is winter. Why is it your favorite season? Because I enjoy the cold weather and I'm not a fan of summer because of how hot it is. Fair enough. That was Brady Russo, everyone. Goodbye. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 